Welcome to the Yum Yum Yogi. Today we will be making delicious Thai tempeh patties with cucumber relish. These are really delicious. Because of the Yum Yum Yogi, we are all about having the right consciousness while cooking. Let's reflect on this thought. I am powerful because I reveal through my inner life that peace is as close as the desire to change. For this recipe, we need 8 ounces or 250 grams of tempeh, 1 fourth cup of fresh basil leaves, half a teaspoon each of galangal powder and lemongrass powder. You can use fresh if you want. 1 tablespoon of sambalulak. It's a chili paste. You can use green chilies if you want. 1 cup each of coarsely chopped cabbage, cilantro, and red bell pepper. I'm using banana pepper here, so either one will do. 1 fourth cup of oats. 2 teaspoons of ginger paste. And 2 tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. I want to talk to you about tempeh. Tempeh is the best source of protein for our body and also is the highest source of protein. It's the best source of protein because it has enzymes which helps the body digest the protein. So try these patties, they're good for you. Take two teaspoons of oil in a flat pan and saute some cabbage and the red bell pepper. Add the galangal powder, the lemongrass powder, and the ginger paste and saute for about three minutes, maybe four at the most. Just enough so that the cabbage gets a little cooked, not too much, just so, so that it becomes translucent, that's all. See, that's how it looks. Now let's prep the tempeh. In a food processor, pinch off tempeh in small cubes and process till coarse crumbs form. It takes about three minutes, that's all. Don't process too much there. That's how it should look, the tempeh. Now add the rest of the ingredients. There goes the fresh basil, the coriander, the sambalulek, the oats, the fresh lime juice, the cabbage, bell pepper mixture, and process with some salt. It should not be processed too much. It should be just about done. Coarse crumbs. And now take a flat pan on medium high heat. Smear some oil on it. Take an ice cream scoop. Scoop out some dough and place it on the palm of one of your hand and with the fingers of the other hand flatten the dough out and place it in the pan like you're seeing on the screen. I use an ice cream scoop because I like all my patties the same size and the same shape and that really helps. Cook five minutes on medium high flame on one side, flip them over and cook for another five minutes on the other side. If they're sticking you can add a little bit of oil. Aren't they delicious looking? They really taste good. Now transfer them to a plate after they're done. Now let's make the cucumber relish. Take a large cucumber and take the seeds out. You don't need to peel the skin, just the seeds. And I'm going to use a food processor to grate this cucumber. That's how it looks, grated there. Transfer it to a bowl. Now for the rest of the ingredients for the relish, we need two teaspoons of ginger paste added to the grated cucumber, one tablespoon of sambalulak. You can also use fresh green chilies. One fourth a cup of rice vinegar and one fourth cup brown sugar and one teaspoon salt. This relish stays fresh in the refrigerator for about a week if it lasts that long. 
It's so delicious that people just eat the relish by itself. There, one delicious looking relish. Tempeh patties. Tastes very good. Usually people don't like to eat tempeh because it has a peculiar taste. But in these patties, they're wonderful, especially with the cucumber relish. But remember, my dear viewers, before you eat this, that you are powerful because you reveal through your inner life that peace is as close as the desire to change.